Okay, so I'm gonna explain to you how Reddit support screwed me over. During November 2022, I logged on to my Reddit account and I got a strange message saying to add an email address to my account. Now, I found this really strange because I've been using this account for the past six or more years and I made it using an email account. And during the time, also, I never changed the email account. So anyway, I added the email address and logged out of all devices just, just to be sure and it seems to work fine. Uh, then on January, I lost access to the account. Uh, I received no messages or email or anything saying that I did. Then I tried to log in, it said that the username or password isn't correct, so I uh, go to reset the password. I type in the only email address that I use and I ask for a password reset and the password reset does arrive. So I reset my password and I go to log in again. And I get the same error. The username or password is incorrect. Uh, then I decide to go directly to my account link and what I find is that my account is suspended. Uh, once again I have received no email or message about this. I do a bit of googling about this and the only advice that I get is that I need to log in to my account to fix this, which I cannot do, that is not working for me. So I assume this is an error on their end and it will go away soon, so I don't use reddit for a week, but you know, that doesn't help. So I'm kind of out of options here. The only thing that I can do at this point is to submit a ticket to support, and I do just that. On January 7th, I send a support ticket to Reddit. I received the email confirmation that the ticket was received, and then I decide to wait. I wait for a week, but there is no further response, so I just uh, respond to the email message to bump it a little bit. Uh, or at least I assume, I'm pretty sure it, it did nothing. Uh, I wait for another two weeks. It's now January 30th. Still no response. So I figure the ticket must have been lost somewhere. So I send another one. I wait for two weeks and once again nothing happens. At this point I'm a bit confused so I decide to go on Reddit to get some help with Reddit. I make a new account. I go on to r slash help. And leave a post explaining the whole situation and asking the community what I should do. A very helpful fellow gave a plausible explanation on what might have happened. I did get hacked around November 2022 so it's quite possible that they stole my token and Reddit's anti-bot security picked it up and suspended my account as a preventative measure. Uh, the fellow also suggested that I should contact Reddit mods directly. I would go to do just that. Uh, later I would also find out that I'm not the only one with this problem. So I write a direct message to the mods and I receive a message that a human moderator will respond to me shortly. Uh, two hours later I get a response. They're asking me for my username. Uh, I did give them the ticket number as a proof of authentication but I guess it wasn't enough. So that's okay though. I mean at least they responded and quite fast at that. <laughs> I give them a username and wait. A uh, week passes and there is no response. So I figure I might as well open a new ticket and write to them again. So I write another message explaining everything and this time giving my username as well. Uh, once again I get an automatic response saying that a human will contact me shortly. I'm sure this won't take long, I mean the last time it didn't take long. One month passes and I receive no reply. I decide to ping them again. Perhaps they just lost my ticket. Two weeks pass and nothing. I decide to ping them on both of my tickets since they did not respond to me and uh, almost immediately I get a bot message responding to one of my tickets. It's of no use to me, unfortunately, so so I assume they closed my ticket after that uh, automated message. Let's briefly review the timeline. It's been over three months since I've sent the first support ticket, and so far I've gotten no response that anybody is looking into this issue. 
I've just gotten automated messages and a bunch of just general advice, nothing specific to my issue. Then I decide I will wait and wait and wait some more. Two months pass and I finally get a response. And they're asking for my email account. No, sorry for the wait. No, we're finally getting around to it. No, we've been very busy messages. Nothing. It took you five months just to ask me for authentication. What the fuck? Never mind the fact that I use the same email account for the past six or more years. And that it's still the same one that is assigned to the account. <laughs> well, whatever. I don't mind authentication and, you know, waiting a bit longer. If it means that I'll, it, this issue will finally be fixed. So I send them my email address. And can you guess what happens next? They don't respond. I wait another month and then I ping them again. At this point, I'm getting a bit irked. I wait two weeks and send them another message. Nothing. I wait another two weeks and send them another message. Nothing. On July, they finally respond with a half-automated message. Thanks for being patient and waiting for a response. My gosh, an actual professional wrote this automated message. If this is a sign of things to come, then my issue will be resolved in no time. Now, I did unfortunately miss this message because my patience has been wearing a bit thin by now. Uh, but on August 8th, uh, something interesting happened. All of my support tickets and messages were merged. Uh, do you know what this means? It means that those fuckers never even bothered to close my tickets before. Which means that most likely they never even looked at them. It took them over 8 months to find out that they have multiple tickets so they could merge them. But then, they never actually bothered to address them. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I was annoyed and my patience was uh, running low. But it seemed like something was happening. So I sent them another message explaining the problem again. Uh, they would surely respond soon, right? Another month passes and they finally respond. And can you guess what they respond with? The same goddamn automated message. <laughs> At this point, I'm, uh, I'm kind of out of cards to play. I don't think they read my messages. The only other thing that I can think to send them is, uh, you know, an actual video of the problem. So, I do just that, uh, this is the video I sent them, uh, the video clearly shows the issue and it shows that the troubleshooting steps that, that they want me to take, they don't work, I can't make it any clearer than this, it's, it's a problem on their end, it's not my problem. So a month passes, once again, before they respond. And can you guess what they respond with? The goddamn same automated message. <laughs> I posted this video on YouTube so I could see the view count. And I saw that nobody ever even clicked on the link. <sighs> I'm a patient man. I can wait. But at a certain point, there comes a time when a patient man must give up and this is exactly what I decided on I mean the meme folder that I couldn't upload and stockpile during this uh, will have to go to the trash and will not be uploaded to reddit now I mean half of those memes are outdated by this point and I'm, I'm not gonna make a new account the one I had had a lot of sentimental value so I suppose I'll use a different platform from now on. I mean, I'm on YouTube, I might as well just upload half the shit to YouTube, make a video out of them. Uh, 
I mean, uh, even if I made a new account or or, or this fix this issue, there's no guarantee that this won't happen again. And and if it does, I mean, I I just can't go through this again. So I'll I'll have to pick a different platform. But you know, but on the off chance that you might still think that this was proper support. Uh, I wanna give an example of what actually good support looks like. So as an example, I will use Genshin Impact support because just like Reddit, they're a multi-million dollar company and I had to deal with their support. So I wrote them a message saying bug, blah, 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 and then I attached an image. And I immediately got a message saying that customer support is busy and it might take a day or two. I mean... Setting a deadline for yourself, I mean, wow, it's just so amazing. I mean, I don't think credit support would be capable of this. Mm, but, you know, it, it didn't take a day or two. Uh, after 30 minutes, I got a message uh, saying that customer support is handling my ticket. It took two minutes for them to read my message and respond to it. Uh, they asked for video footage. Uh, they, they even put some cool emojis in their messages. Ooh... I, I, it feels like they actually care to bother, you know? Now, I could have recreated this issue and gotten some video of it, but uh, uh, the image had all the information on it, and I didn't really feel like, uh, you know, recreating the issue, so I didn't bother. I just Instead, I just drew some lines on the image and some text, and I sent them a high-quality image uh, saying that, you know, you can see from the image, which you could actually see the issue. Uh, the support, once again, took around 30 minutes uh, to an hour to respond and said, uh, that, that's okay, that's fine. You'll send it to the developers, and if you get a video, please send it to us. So. Now, in the end, I'm pretty sure they just threw my ticket into the trash because the problem is still not fixed. But that's that's not the point. The point is to compare this professional customer support to this fucking mess. I mean... The difference is night and day, and I mean, I think I made my point clear enough, uh, Reddit, Reddit shit.